Instructions for Module A, Database, Assignment Number 4, Order Databases. So the, under our tables, there are six. We are going to open Employees, so double click. And then we are going to se select the Employee ID, so the, so the entire column is selected. And then choose Table Fields in the ribbon and choose Short Text. And it comes up right um, immediately to the right of Employee ID. And we're going to type the field name first, name, and then I'm going to put in another short text. And this one will be called middle, name. And then what you'll do is you'll fill in the names from the list in the um, instructions in the table below, open the employee table. So fill out that information. So once you've completed filling in the first name and middle name, there are a couple of dates that are missing. So you want to click into that date and you can just type the date for this is, um, you can click the calendar, but then you'd have to go to the year and this was 1952. So it might be easier just to type in um, the day is 10 followed by February and the year is 1952 and then it readjusts it for you so the next one for May is um, 19 and it's September and it's 1937 and then the last one is 2 July and that's 1963 and there you have the dates that were missing. So we're in worksheet view and we could change to data sheet view just to make sure that the last first name, middle name and last name should be only field size of 20. So the last name you can see that it's 20, but the ones we just did, the middle name, it's at the 255. So we can change it to 20 and then do the same thing for first name. You only need 20. Uh, character spaces for a name and then we'll exit and exit will save automatically so you can double click it to see if they're still in there the new columns first name middle name last name so it's in there it's good exit out and now we will go into um, the products table so double click the products table again you can you'll see that there are one of 77 records and there are the categories for the column names the product ID product name, category, quantity per, u, per unit, unit price, and units in stock. So we actually want to add a new column and it's going to be a calculated where we're going to take the price and set, times it by the units in stock. So click the down arrow next to click to add and then you're going to choose calculated field at the bottom and then choose currency. And in here you're just going to select what um, out of the table what category. So I want to take the uh, unit price, so I'm going to double click that and it puts it in there and I'm going to put the multiply which is the asterisk symbol and then do double click the units in stock. So it's going to do this math operation once I click OK and there it is. And now I can actually name the field so I'm going to call it total sales. So we're done with this one and you can see it calculated all of them for us automatically so I'm going to close out of here it'll automatically save it the next one we're going to go into is the customers table so double click that so in this table there are 91 records of information so we're just going to go through a little bit about sorting and filtering so let's say I wanted to um, sort by um, company name I could select in any of them and choose ascending which it was um, pretty much all already in ascending or I could choose descending goes backwards um, and then I can remove the sort so go back to its original um, layout the next thing if I were to go to a particular city and you click um, the down arrow next to city you could also sort by city so I could choose that sort by city and then remove the sort or if I wanted to, it's showing all the cities that are um, currently showing. I could uncheck any of the ones that I didn't want showing. So just remember there are 91 and I unchecked a few and then click OK. 
And now it's showing at the bottom that it's been filtered and there's only 87 versus the 91. So to remove this filter, you can just click toggle filter and it gets rid of it and we should be back to our 91. So you can filter out what you don't need and, and what you want to keep. So now we'll do a custom sort. So the custom sort will first sort by company name. So we'll, we'll select company name down arrow and choose ascending order. So it's an alphabetic order. And then we'll go to city and we'll sort by city. And then we'll sort by country. So you just have to um, hover over and we'll sort by city. So whatever is the last sort is the one it's sorting by country first, then by city, and then last by company. So you need to go in reverse order. If you wanted it to sort by country first, you do that last, then by city, and then by company name. You can see all the Brazil, and then by city, and then if there's some in the same city, then it's by company name. So that's a, um, an advanced search. So we'll keep that. So we'll just close out of here and make sure you'll save this as um, a database and submit. Thank you.